Well, hello there, person. What's up? It's Wizard Food. I'm gonna play some Wraith Binder right freaking now. Let's do this. Let's turn this baby up all the way. Turn it to level 11. Come on, my friends. We're gonna do this right. Today, I'm gonna be playing with the PS5 controller. Look at this baby. Wow. Fits in my hands just like a little... Looks like a little glove. Okay, I think we're off to a good, pretty, pretty good start here. Yeah, it's pretty good here. Look at this stuff here. We got this... Choose a character. What character should we choose? Should we create a new character? No, we don't want to create a new character. Oh my god, I put so much work into Bub here. Definitely using Bub. Bub's the best. Bub and Kit. I've lost Kit though. I'm, I don't know where Kit is. Dude, should I start over? Maybe I should start a new character. This is a stream, by the way. Oh, you know what? You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play my old character first, and then let me play the new... Maybe a new character first, <laughs> and then the old character. Kia and Gia? That's pretty funny. It randomly chose these two names together, and they they really have a have a distinct ring when you put them together like that. Pretty interesting. I'm um I'm gonna go note this on my hold on, let me take some notes here. I'm gonna note this on my calendar of things that just happened. Uh-huh. There, done. Gia and Gia. Okay, well, let's see here. What kind of body type do we want here today? Hmm. Kia, Kia and Gia. This is a, these are feminine names. Let's go with the feminine body. Ultra short, maybe? Uh, ultra tall? Maybe somewhere in the middle? How about there? Color. Uh, what color should we choose? Oh, the... <laughs> Radiant! Radiant goldenness! Hmm. Funky? Funky? Go with. Whoa. Orange color is pretty nice. Very. Very refreshing color. There we go. It's looking good. It's looking pretty good here. What color skin should we go with? We can get some purple skin. Maybe some blue skin. Ooh, blue. I like I like it blue. Let's go with that blue. And this weird hairdo also. This is this is a very alien looking character. I'm, I'm liking how alien this character is looking. Let's get a little bit of a cloak to start with. How about a cloak? What cloak should we get here? This tattered cloak or this big tattered cloak or whoa, that that cloak's awesome. We're keeping that one. Here we go. Starting her off. Kia and Gia, here we go. Look at that rumble in my controller. So, um, yeah, this is a game called Wraithbinder. I've been working on this game and it's coming to early access this Monday. So I'm going to play through starting a character just so... We got sound? Oh yeah, we got sound. Just so you can see this new stuff here, person. And then I'm gonna go play my other character that I've been having putting a lot of energy into. It's already level 11. Just as you said and more. Oh, look at that. What is this big thing here? Rising on the horizon. Blimey, what be that rising on the horizon? By the cursed bones of Bloodbeard himself. Tis a city the likes of which me peepers have never beheld. Tis as if the very depths of the locker have spat it out like a foul piece of grizzle. You know, I realize this is kind of like... Um... This is so great that I didn't use voice actors for this video game. Because that way people that are streaming it can use their voices. And I didn't intend that, but it turned out to be awesome! So glad I did that. It's so much it's so much more funny when streamers get to do their fun voices. Now scatter like crabs on the shore. Heck yeah, let's do this, Kia. Come on, Kia, let's let's go find Gia. We're gonna go find Gia now. 
Excuse me, I'm looking for my lost child, please. Their name is Gia. And they're about my they're about shorter than me. And they look just like me. They look just like this. Just like this. Look at my hair. This is what Gia's hair looks like. How are we doing on the call? Whoa, look at this. Whoa, dang, Berserker already level 10. Wow, Berserker. He just started he just started streaming this like an hour or two ago. Way to go. Way to way to go. Amazing. Look at this. Chase Outski has 12,000 light. Man, dude, the guy's crushing it. Crushing it. We have the game's not even launched yet. This guy's already level almost level 20. Props, Chase Outski. Props. Boop a doop boop 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 boop. Boop 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 boop. What am I going to pick? Oh, this is the revealing something here. Oh, I would have known that I was there. I do like the secrets. They're great. Secrets everywhere. Put them everywhere. Oh my gosh, look how much help I have this run already. 71. Dang. What a way to start it off. Crushing it. Oh, 50 experience? 50 gold? Ooh, go, 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 go for the experience. Oh, 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 yeah, we got the sword now. Oh, yeah. Oh, that guy got me point blank. I watch where this guy's aiming. Hey, what are you doing uh, sitting in the corner there? Shooting your arrows at the pole, man. Take that, you scurvy sky serpent. Got an ability point, a fine breastplate of efficiency. Maybe some experience. Ability point for sure. Here we go, going up a floor. Yes, that's what we're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good then, good then, good then. You know what? I got a really fun idea here. Let's change it into a different language. Um... Oh. Korean? Japanese? Chinese? I like Japanese. A beautiful look to it. Ah, there we go. <laughs> That's what I always wanted. Dream in Japanese, even though I can't read a thing. Yes. Cool. Look at that. It says down there. It says ascend floor three. I I knew what that one said. One of these days I'll learn to read these glyphs. Also says floor three. That little squirrely thing in the square and that other squirrely thing says it's floor. Don't ask me how. This one says observe. A little bit pixelated. Can't quite read it very well. That's not good. That's not very good. Need to work on that. Oh, that says level. Level. Hey, look, Farron's already up here in level level one. Here you go, Farron. Dang, how are these filling up so much? How are these? This game is not even released yet. Look at all these people playing. Wow. Wow, that's great. Great news. Look at the people playing. I wonder what it's going to be like when people are actually buying it. When it's actually released into the wild. Oh, it'll be mayhem. It'll be mayhem, I tell ye. Oh, wow, look at that. I'm pretty good on health here. 65 out of 71. What did I get here? <laughs> the hard thing about playing in Japanese is you don't really know what things say very well here. Um, I can't tell what any of that says. 3% something. Minus 3% something else. I think that's ability cost. Minus 3% ability cost. 2% uh... 2% something. Looks like a pretty cool item though. It's magical. You see that blue? The blue it means it's magical. Wow. Magical times. 
Mmm, here we go. I think I hey, dude. Crushing it here, crushing it, man. Six mana is actually pretty useful, I noticed on my last run. Sometimes I thought, oh, this max mana stuff not as useful. Not as useful as max health, but whoa, it is! Oh, it definitely is! Right? My max mana right there could have turned this baby on faster. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. Get this baby. Something. I think I missed a little room down here. Oh, no, 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 never mind. Didn't miss a thing. Don't even, don't even think, don't even look down there, withered fool. That's not it. Oh gosh, look at this. Whoa, yes, we found a secret. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, good, good then. Good then. There we go. There we go. Oh, max mana. This one's plus 20%. Uh, uh, man, I wish I could read this. Okay. <laughs> Wait with the thing I knew what it was. Very unadventurous of me. Ah! Take that. Filthy creature of the night. One's probably a probably an ice. Oh, watch out for the bombs! Oh my god! They're everywhere! first NPC. Right on. This says some stuff in um, Japanese. It says uh, Oi! Hello there, good person! Thank you for rescuing me and stuff! Uh, dot 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 Um Uh, can I join you in your fight? Uh, I've, I'm a, I'm a guy. You can, you can count on me! Yes, guy, come with us! Have you seen my child, Gia? Uh, no, but here's a map. <laughs> Later. <laughs> the guy is so nice, man. Just gave me a map. I saved him and he gave me a map, but he hasn't seen Gia. Uh, where am I? Oh, gotta find Gia, man. Whoa, watch out for the big guy. He's gonna jump on me. Get out of here, big guy. He's jumping on people. So, so inconsiderate and rude of you. Jumping on, jumping on people like it's just your favorite thing to do in the whole world. What the? Ah, man, just crazy jumping here. Jumping like a, jumping like a jack of, jack of, jumping like a bean in a, in a, jumping like a bean in a, in a Pringles, an empty Pringles can. That's what you are. You're jumping around just like a bean in an empty Pringles can. That, that's what you are. Fight the jumper. Yo, we, we slew our first mini boss. Mini boss, consider yourself slain. I, Captain Gia, have slain thee. Thou art mega slain. Should we switch? Let's switch languages again. Let's go to a different language. Let's, let's, uh, I already know what some of these say. Here we go. Russian. This one I don't know what anything says. Actually, Russian's a little closer to English. I don't know what everything. Oh, look at this one says. Uh, I'm here to claim this treasure. This one says knives. I'm really. I'm. Uh, I'm really. The, la the Russian language is so crazy, it, I, I can't pronounce anything, like, the H, I think, makes an N sound. Something like that. Yeah, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's see how far we get with this character. Then we're gonna switch to my other character. Play with my 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 favorite character in the world. His name is Bob. He's the best. Bob, I met you, Bob. Let's go. Whoop! Yeah! Whoop! Oh yeah! 
Ooh, ability point. Ability points all around. I'm gonna. How about uh, the, the knives? Oh, Shadow! Run away, Gia! Here comes the, the the impending death. Here it comes. Run away! Play it bows like it's nothing. Whoa! Did you see that? I got that right before it got me. Here. Yeah. Hey, here, this what's going on here. Oh, well, a little bit of 2% of this thing here. Wow, magical, right on. We got some, we got a magical breastplate. We also got a magical helmet already. Neato. If I could read what any of that said, I would say what it says. But alas, I cannot. Okay, here we go. Oh, guys in the corner, it's perfect. You know what? These guys in the corner. I should take that those columns out. Really preventing these guys from hitting anything. Oh, minus nine. Doing it. Oh, doing it so well. Really like how well we're doing it here. And go for this ring. Really need to put a little pop up for those still. There we go. Oh, whoa. Magical ring. Neato. Neato. I like. I like. I'll keep it. I think I'll keep it. I'll name it. Hmm. What shall I name it? The Ring of Sorrow. Sorrow of my enemies. See, like in Russian here, it says Abkanavta, but that's not how they pronounce things there. Probably says like Nikaploridable. I'm so bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to anyone that speaks Russian. I should not have even tried to. I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll just stop talking and trying to talk in Russian here. Okay, good, good. Good job, Wizard Fu. Stop talking. Oh. That said Wraithbind? It's supposed to say Wraithbind. Who knows what it actually says. Translation may or may not be good at this point. Not quite sure. But it'll get better. When this game gets to 1.0 launch, we shall do a really good translation. For now, we just have this passable translation. This chat GPT version of translation. Here we go, ascending the floor. What should we, should we change language again? Yes, I think so. Oh, yo, what's up, Space My Name? Yeah, man. Oh, it's the, I know. Is it? I forget what day it is all the time too. Is it? Is it Sunday or Monday? I have no idea. It's sa It's Saturday. It's Saturday today. I just remembered. Wow, we're on the. Cool. I'm glad we. Uh, glad. Glad we solved that one. <laughs> How you doing, Space My Name? Oh man, it's good to see you, your name. Space My Name's name is here. Oh, sweet. Dude, I'm so psyched for Monday too, man. I'm really excited for this. Um, speaking, of, speaking of excitement, this has really been a really... Oh man, I wish I would've got the other thing there. Huh. It's been a really relatively stress-free launch. I'm so... So psyched. I'm liking early access so far. It's like, uh, there's a lot less pressure, at least to me as a developer. Um, and by the way, everybody, uh, I'm, I'm the developer of this game. My name is WizardFu, and um, I've been working on this game for five years, and it's coming to early access this Monday. Um, but because it's early access, it is so much more, it's so much less pressure. You know, it's like, okay, if there's things that are broken, they can they can be fixed. People know that it's an early access version, and I played I played a lot of this game, and I've had some people test it. So it's like it's looking pretty good. It's the best version of this game so far. But 
there's a lot to come, you know, there's a lot of things left to do, and I can just chill out and realize that there's plenty of time to do it during early access. No need to stress. That's made it a very stressful, ex stress, relatively stress-free experience. Hey, Miss Soul Space, my name, what's going on in your world, man? What's up? Get back here, chest of... Little sneaky chest guy. Oh, that's so much help. Uh. Got to oh, let's switch languages again. Let's see here. Mm. Yeah, we did we did Japanese a little bit ago. How about Korean this time? Chinese. Portuguese. Deutsch. Italiano. Francais. Don't know what that says, but we're picking it up anyway. Ouch. Switching the range attacks here. Switching the range attacks. Here we go. Good, good, good job there, guy. Oh, you're my favorite wraith ever. Such a good wraith guy. Let's pick up that one there. Whoa, yeah. Oh, yeah. Doing good here. Doing good. Good job, wraith. What shall I name you? I'll name you the wraith of... Wraith of death. Everything of death. Not much is working on planning for your new projects? Oh, what's your new project? What new project is Space Bud A working on? Where, what, what, what floor is this? Floor 7. Wow, I can read that. I can't actually read that, but I know that the top number there is 7 is the floor. Good then, okay. Floor 7 it is. Here we go. help on this run. Really losing a lot of it, this fight. Bombs, they get me. Next month you're gonna focus on the backyard? Oh! And you got your home lab where you wanted to be this last- a uh, home lab? It's so cool, you have a home lab? What are you doing in that home lab? Yay! It'd be nice if mini bosses dropped. Drop some metal sometimes, but we we wouldn't want them to drop metal this this early, no. Cool, all right, okay, let's switch languages again. Uh, maybe in a sec, maybe in a sec. We'll give it another sec here to Korean. We got the shield now. It's a good thing I know what those checkmark things say up there.
Mostly repair? If you want to get some automation going for testing on different hardware platforms? Sweet. Sweet, dude. What kind of hardware platforms are we talking about here? Oh, I forgot I haven't got any of the star power up things yet. Wraith out of that. Nice. Level four knives. Doing it. Oh my gosh, we're doing pretty good on this run, actually. This is my first run with this character. We're already on floor. Floor nine? Floor eight? My, my. We're already on floor eight. How is this possible? Seems to die at floor four almost every time. Oh, it's because these guys are more fair now. Uh it makes sense. You would die if they fight unfairly, that's for sure. Oh my god, we gotta pay a little more attention here. Those big guys will do a lot of damage there. Oh god, they're doing it again! I'm losing a lot of health there. Oh no! The run that was so good could be going going south quite fast. Yeah, there we go. Get back a little health there. Good then, good then, good then. Oh, oh, oh. Different CPUs, GPUs, OSs. Oh, that kind of hardware. Originally was for performance testing. Helping someone test their Vulcan compatibility. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I bet if you got a bunch of like different CPUs and GPUs, that would be a really insightful stuff. Okay, I'm going to switch into English for a second so I can read that stuff. I'm kind of curious what it says. To say, good helmet of infliction. I think I'll keep my other one. Good ring of slaying. Oh, has more range damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Here, time to equip this baby. Play point. Uh, yeah. Knives level six. Whoa. Oh my gosh, we're really pushing it here. Level six knives. Keep going this way here. Level, wow, we're level three. Oh, wow. Level three on the first run. Oh gosh, oh, really got open. Getting my booty kicked here. Got one hit point left. We're hanging on by a fingernail. At least we've got one fingernail. That's really all you need. Okay then, one hit point, 14 mana. Let's go. What more do you want? What more could you possibly want in this world? Oh my gosh, did we make it? We made it! Oh my god, we made it to the boss on the first run? I don't know about this. I need to make this game harder. Oh man, there's 
couple things I edited this week that changed everything. Now it's too easy. Gia! I found you! Come here, me love! Why be your peepers glowing something unnatural like? Gia! By the stars above, curse that cursed crow! Me child's mind be ensnared! Oh my, that's actually gonna be say. Oh man, that's gonna save me. Look how much health I have, though. I have 107 health on the first front. I got really lucky with all the all the relics. I got two. I think I got two max health relics plus a bunch of mini max health relics. Well, 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 well. Let's check that out, actually. Let's look at the relics here. Relics? Look how many health relics I have! <laughs> so many! Two big, bigger boosters. One, two, three, four, five mini health relics. I didn't know those were six. I thought they were five. Oh, must have something to do with my other relic. Other relics that are relicking. And you can buy health now here. Wow. I gotta find ways to make this game harder now. Here we are at the final boss. What up? I'm WizardFu, and uh, this game's called Wraithbinder. It's a roguelike with um, secrets and loot, necromancy, and um, Metroidvania-inspired ability progression, which means it's kind of like a Metroidvania, kind of. Like, you get these abilities, like, like you get the jump ability, and now all of a sudden you can jump over things that you couldn't before, and now you can get farther in the world. Kind of like a Metroidvania. Level 5 knives are crushing it. Whoa, whoa. I think I can do this. I can beat the... I can't believe I'm beating the boss in the first run, though. This should be illegal. It should be illegal. It should be outlawed. Outlaw this, baby. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. Look, I have 48 health left. Oh man, this guy's too easy now. What? How many bosses are in the game currently? There's uh, there's one main boss, this guy. But then there's actually four or five like uh, mini bosses. Kinda, kinda count like bosses. Eventually, though, at 1.0 launch, there's going to be three acts, and every act will have its own main boss. So there'll be three main bosses, or big bosses like this guy, and um, and probably more like more mini bosses as well. But yeah, there'll be eventually there'll be three or four main bosses. But now, but right now, there's only one. But you could kind of count the mini bosses as. Ooh, fine ring of glimmering. I really okay. I really need to put those stats up. Okay, but anyways, what does this fine ring of glimmering look like? Oh, it's only a tier two. I thought I was level three. Okay, cool then. All right, great then. See ya later. Can't believe I just beat this. Oh, that's not right. The balance of this game has gone unbalanced this week. Ah, it's too easy. 
I should not be able to even get I should not even be able to get to the boss in the first on the first run. Look at this guy. This guy is about to one hit kill me. And he has a billion hit points. I made sure this guy <laughs> literally Where'd he go? Oh. I made sure this guy literally has a billion hit points. Let's dance the dance here, billion hit point guy. Come on. Am I making a dent, you think? I don't I don't even think I'm making a dent. His hit points his hit points bar is so small compared to how much how many hit points he actually has. Oh god, one hit, 68 hit points. <laughs> Dang. Oh. I still haven't made an achievement for beating this guy. If there's a player out there that actually beats this guy and there's not an achievement, I'm so sorry, player. This is the impossible task here. Oh! We beat the guy that has a billion hit points and almost one hit kills you every time. Wow! All right, we did it. We did that. Okay. Did I just get really lucky on that run? What was it? How, how would... I had a lot of hit points. But really, the new... The boss is so much easier now. Cool, early access victory though. I'll take it. I shall take it! Wow, I could buy both these? Neato! Okay, great, great. Let's play my other character now. Playing my other character now. Ia, you're great, and Gia as well. I can't believe I, I was only level 3 and I got to the boss and beat the boss. Gotta make some adjustments. Gotta make some definite adjustments there. Ch challenge accepted. I just saw your message there. Space my name. Right? Were you talking about the billion hit point guy? Oh man. I gotta make an achievement there. This guy's awesome. I love Bub. He's so cool. Got a rare ring of freezing. Ace breastplate. And oh, I think I'm like just unlocked rings. Oh, I actually earned rings. Wheat. That's awesome. Yeah. All oh, the upgrades. What am I doing here? I got 100. Oh, I'm saving up for Jars of Health 3. Here we go. We're just playing my, my other old character, Bub. He's a level 11. Let's see if this time... Maybe I just got really lucky on that first run. Hopefully. And, um... Maybe this run will be harder, and I won't make it to the boss. I'm hoping that's the case, because I don't want to have to go and edit all the stuff I've done recently. Uh, make it harder again. It's... Such a delicate balance, changing one little thing affects so much in, in these kinds of games. You may, you take one enemy, and you give him one less hit point, and he's... The whole game's different. Make him just a little bit less difficult, a little bit more fair, and the whole game is easier. You make the boss, make a couple little adjustments to the boss, and all of a sudden the boss is too easy. Ooh, we got everything here. Oh, except for I can't get Knuckles yet. 
pick up this axe, baby. We're gonna run with the axe today. Looking for secrets. What do we got here? Secrets anywhere? Oh, anywhere in Sim some secrets, baby? Got a secret here? Oh my god, there was a secret right there! Nice! I was not expecting that. That was so cool. What else? What else? There's another... There's gotta be... Feeling like there's a secret. Oh, there it is! Oh, we found the secret! Yay! Melee acid or hastener? Hmm. 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 Well, we got the axe. Let's get the hastener this time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Great. Excellent. time. What will we find next? Rizzoel! Bring it! What you got there, Rizzoel? Why often this guy is level floor two? I like to, I like to play this guy once for once at level six or so. Okay, he's a lot more uh, he's got more attacks and stuff, level six. Level two is easier. Attack speed, pauldrons? Oh wow, the pauldrons I already have have 10 max health and 10 max mana. Superb! Excellent and superb it is! Yes, I say! Ow! What do we got here? Buckler, Reflector, Melee Ice. That looks ah, I like the Melee Ice. Let's get that. Got you! Oh, yeah! Huh. Huh. Hmm. Eh. Hmm. Eh. Okay, alright. And. Yeah, I don't have enough ability keys, but I really need to get more metal. Oh, this is just going back. Oh, okay, this is just going back the same place. I get it. I I I I, I get it. Sweet helmet with nine max health. What do I got on already? Got this helmet with. Oh, it's a regular helmet. This one looks better. But also, I'm trying to save up for that health, that health power up thing. Get that baby. Oh. 
Okie doke. We're off to the next floor. Ooh, we got a boomerang, Orbo. Oh, we got all these unlocked already. Yes, I love this character. Okie day, okie day. Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Wizard Fu, the developer of this game here, Wraithbinder. It's coming to early access this freaking Monday. Yes, it is. I appreciate you wishlisting this game and um, reviewing it on day one. Uh, that's what you, that's what the best fans out there do. You get a gold star, your best fans. Oh yes, gold stars and blue ribbons all around. I s uh, it's going to be awesome. Well, well, well. So, this game has a roguelike with um, secrets and loot and necromancy and a whole bunch of other interesting concepts, but especially the loot. Look at this. Look at all this loot I've collected so far with this character. Lots of permanent power-ups too. You get to when you whenever you die, you go back home and you can permanently power up the world. Make it a different experience each time. Ooh, racking up the metal. Uh, I'm gonna be able to buy that thing I want to buy. Good stuff. Good stuff then. Hello, hello. Wait, that looks like. Oh, it is. Look, I thought it might be a secret. It was. Bless my stars. Bless my stars above. Oh, yes. I was hoping that was what it was. And it was what it was. Indeed, I was hoping what it was. It was, it was, and it was. Hey, we're doing... Oh, we're getting some really good melee power-ups here. What do we get this time so far? Relics? We've only got one little bigger nudger, but we got a hastener. Wait, we got two melee ice cubes? How did that happen? I do remember picking those up, but the random the random chance that that could happen. What are the odds? Oh, that guy almost blew himself up. He did hurt himself with that bomb thing. But not quite blew himself. Oh, look at this, another one hits him. Oh yeah, he even died from that lightning. Chain. The chain lightning got him. That was really neat. Didn't have to work too hard to kill that guy. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, I forgot I had the bow. What happens when you play a game where you're building different abilities each time? You forget what you have this run. We're gonna power up the bow. Level two. 33% damage boost. Yeah, I... Okay starting to see what it is that's making it things a little bit a little bit too easy these guys they used to be a lot more difficult because they were a lot more unfair they would just sort of like um, change directions they would say hey I'm aiming this way and then they would change directions and aim a different way and it made them a lot more difficult of course because they were just so random but now they're a little bit too easy because I made them very fair. They always aim, they always, wherever they're aiming, they actually end up attacking. So I've got to find a way to make those guys more difficult, but still fair. How am I going to do that? I don't know. Have to get a little bit of think on on this one. I have to get a little bit of confederation. I got to make a little teeth for each thing and write down the pros and cons. That's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna write a little list, make a little spreadsheet. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a little spreadsheet about it. Make it, make a good little spreadsheet about it. Everything is gonna be good about it. Could be bad about it. Got to line them all up in columns. 
Palms and rows, but it's my favorite thing. Palms and rows. Hot diggity, where are we on now? Floor six? Floor seven? Whoa! Hot diggity dang! Okay, all right. Okay. Oh, wow, what have we found? Wow. Hey, sneaker guys, you walk through walls. Oh, watch out, oh, minus nine. Things are getting, things are heating up. Getting more difficult. Oh, I forgot to have a shield. Right there, man. Try to attack my guy. No way. I got you a little. Put a boot in it. Put a boot in it, my man. And shut it. Put a boot in that thing and shut that thing. That's what I say. Yeah, get the blob guy with the bomb thing. Duke. Little ability point here. Whoa, whoa, we got so many abilities. Skybot level two. Oh, now we can get different buildings. Now we can build um guardians. Ooh, we have enough mana for it too. Whoa. Cool. Cool. Yes. And we just hit level 12! Get that max mana. 24. Whoa. Oh, we could get the blue vampire. Ooh, the choices. I'm thinking this one. Then we can build these. Um... We have it selected. We want to select our guardian. Oh, I really want to use this guardian guy thing. There. Ha ha ha. We built one. Yes. These guys are totally distracted. Yeah! Nice job, Wraith! Yeah, that was cool. I really like that. We had a Wraith doing more fighting for us and a Guardian thing. Ah, here we go. Ha! I like, I like, I like, I like. Oh my gosh. No way. What are the chances? I could have three melee ice cubes. <laughs> time. That's insane. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Or a melee doll. Oh my gosh, the melee damager. Dude, my axe is so powerful. I've got like, I got like two melee ice cubes and a hastener, which is plus attack speed. And if I get one more ice cube, that'll be like 24% chance for ice every attack. Oh, but the damage would make it crazier too. Oh my gosh, I gotta do this though. It's never happened on any of my runs where this would... Such, a, such an alignment of relics has never been aligned. A little bit short there, buddy. Not quite building the bridge all the way over there, but okay. 
gonna wait for being able to build a guardian here. Ah, oh, we can do it now. Go! Okay, let's see what happens here. Fighting with guardians. Yes. Do the work for me, guardian. Oh gosh, watch out. Ow! Oh, a guardian's already dead. Okay. Good. I'm glad they you can't cheese bosses with that thing. Oh, I'm gonna build mines though. on the brink of out of mana the whole time. Can't even build a mine. Probably because I'm dashing everywhere all the time. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. This, this boss is actually hard. Good. I'm glad there's some hard bosses in here. Dang, nabbit. There should be the hard bosses. Hit point. Oh, okay. Good. The game's not too easy. That's good. That's really great. Because the last run, I beat the boss on the first run. It must have just been a lucky run. I did not beat the boss that time. I had some really good items. I had knives at level 5. The world, like, everything just aligned so perfectly that last run. Well, well, good, good then, good. I'm a little bit reassured that everything isn't broken. It's great. I like when things are not broken. Oh, some bot light trade, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that thing. What else do we got over here? Oh, let's sell some armor first. We can sell some armor here. Do I, do I want to wear that? Oh, that is, no, that is some really good mana regen, which I love. Mana regen, good. Sell that one. Sell this one too. This is the one I used to be wearing. I got a better one. Okay, alright, okay. Oh, we have, do we have enough for this? Yeah, we do! Oh, we can get Jars of Health 3. Buy that. Oh. This character's doing really good. We're level 12. Bub's at level 12 now. Got 400 life to spend. What should we spend it on? Okay. Oh, wow. Look at my pauldron. My pauldron's got plus 10 max health and plus 10 max mana. If I increase these, I could get that up to plus 11. <laughs> Not as much as I was hoping for. Forgot where I already got that powered up a bit. Um, Helmets? Nah. Okay, but the ring. The I got this awesome rare ring of freezing. Oh, it's already got 16% wraith attack. That's cool. And ranged ice and acid? Sweet. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is awesome. What do we just get? Two more stats? What do we get? Oh, wraith defense? Sweet. Like, all of a sudden, 19% wraith defense. That's worth it. Keeping that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll just... Keep these 54 light. Good stuff. I like that power up. Neato. Save them changes. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Well, my, my friends on the internet there. My friends are watching the stream. Hello. And uh, and uh, you've been watching me play Wraithbinder. This game is uh, coming to early access on Monday. Bye. Yeah. 
I bet you, uh, I bet you've already wishlisted it and you're gonna review it on day one, huh? Yep. Oh, thank you, person. Um, yep, I'm the solo developer behind this game. My name is Wizard Foo, and uh, this game is a one-man project. Can you believe it? My God. Wow, all this stuff and things and characters and NPCs and secret and loots and stuff. Wowie zowie. Well, um, so you watched me play for, um, I played one character, started it brand new, and actually beat the boss on the first run, got really lucky with some great relics, and, um, didn't get hurt that much. But I think there's some adjustments I need to make to the game before early access launch on Monday. Um, there's a few things I just did recently in the last couple days that made things a little bit too easy in parts. I need to make that a little bit more challenging. Because I, sh I just should literally not be able to beat the boss on the first run. Like, even if the stars align and you got all the perfect relics, it, sh it should be very, it should be more difficult than it was to beat the boss on the first run. So, but, but for the few little adjustments, a little bit of tweaking to do here. A little bit of, we gotta dial in them dials just a little bit. We need to turn some dials from eight back to seven, a couple other dials out from three to four. Just dial it in just a little bit. Maybe maybe a little bit more than a little bit, actually. Maybe maybe some things need to be a little bit more like a maybe maybe a medium bit. You know? More than more than a little. Medium. But hey, what can I say? So um yep, I'm gonna get going now. I got a, a whole bunch of stuff to do before Monday's game. This but oh but the early access launches this Monday. I can't believe it. I'm very excited to have this medical forical baby delivered and uh, there's a whole bunch more fun stuff coming to this game throughout early access there's act two so so far the game has act one story and um, that's like 11 floors of content and a whole bunch of uh, story elements and things like that you can trigger along the way and uh, later, during Act's Early Access, there's Act 2 coming, which is uh, going to be more floors, more biomes, more story. And then finally, at 1.0 launch, there's going to be Act 3. So there's going to be three acts by the time this game comes to 1.0. Um, this game's going to be in Early Access for probably at least a year, I'm thinking. So we're launching into Early Access this Monday. At least a year later it will be before we're at 1.0 launch. Because there's two gigantic things that have to get done during early access. One of them is online co-op, um, which is somewhat developed already. There's it's a lot of technology into this game already built for online co-op. There's a lot of little fine-tuning though to get online co-op working. God dang. It is a technical challenge, my friends. It is a technical challenge, but it, it, it shall be done! We shall surmount this mountain! And the other big thing coming during early access is Act 2 and Act 3, of course. The remainder of the story, the game's content, the extra floors, more bosses, more mini-bosses, more enemies, more biomes, and all that. All that stuff has got to be done during early access. So that's why it's going to be at least a year in early access. Um, but yep, you, whoops, you watched me power up my character a little bit there, I got, uh, above here is, it's got some cool items, I just sold the rest of his equipment, and you watched me buy this one power up here at this guy, that, that I got Jars of Health 3, which is, oh gosh, there's Jars of Health 4 as well, forgot about that, but, uh, now I'm up to 1.5% chance that any jar will have health in it, which is a really awesome thing. When you're going smashing jars and you find a five health, it's like, <sighs> yes. So glad I found that. It can save you in some crazy situations. So, neato. All right, everybody, well, I gotta get running. I got a whole bunch to do before the game launches this Monday. Thank you for watching this stream. This game's called Wraithbinder. Please wishlist it and please review it on day one if you buy it. I would love that. Thank you very much. Wizard Foo out! Later, everybody! Later! 